Is your website making this common mistake? In videos one, two, three, and four, we saw that people are distracted, people are busy, and they just want to get on with their days. We saw that in video one. In video two, I explored how newspapers and billboards are designed for attention, and we as web designers can certainly learn a lot from that. In video three, we saw that you need to prioritize with your content. And in the last video, video four, episode four, we covered the one thing to take away, which I call TOTA. So one of the biggest problems um, on websites, certainly that I see, is that everything is grabbing for attention. Everything's trying to get attention. And as we explored in the last few videos, when you try and get everything is grabbing attention, what happens is normally nothing uh, actually gets attention. There's no focus and there's no guidance on a lot of websites that I see. If we look at this example, very famous, Link Cars. Um, it looks like they're still in business, but this really is a website that could be vastly improved. Just loads of things going on. Where, where's your focus there? It's just all over the shop. Fancy graphics, 50 different colors. It's. Um, I would love the opportunity to redesign this. I'd be quite uh, confident that I could get vastly more sales if we just uh, got a chance to design this site. But that's kind of a an example of a bad site and um, just too many things going on. In another example, uh, the same kind of idea. Again, there's loads of different colors. There's loads of different text. It's very little alignment. Uh, there's just graphics all over the place, pretty much alike uh, link cars. It's another example of bad design. And again, I would be quite confident to design this and really almost double their business just with a a much more cleaner design than some of the techniques that I am talking about in these videos. So how do we solve the problem of these busy uh, websites and designs? We solve it with hierarchy. You want to have a very clear structure on your content and we've covered this in a previous video. And a really big point is your headline has to grab attention. So let's have a look at a, a much improved design um, than the two previous examples. So look where your eye goes first here. Immediately, it should go to Trade Smarter Today. Look at the negative space, the white space around that. Look at the contrast of the text. It just looks a lot more designed. And then your eye will probably go over to the graphic on the right-hand side, really well designed. Um, like the colors, like the layout of the phone, the green background works. It's just an example of a much more effective design. So not shouting at people, just easily guiding them around the page. It's just an example of a much improved website in the previous two examples we've seen. On to the next one. This is for Basecamp, one of my favorite products. Um, I really uh, like using it. Saved a lot of time for me working on different teams over the last few years. Just love the tool, how it's designed, how it works, the performance of it all. Um, Basecamp is a really good example of design. Now look what, when we're coming onto that page, our immediate attention goes to the headline, the all-in-one toolkit for working remotely. That's what the focus of that page is. You would read that and then you would probably go down to read the text below that. And then below that, you've got another strong color with the call to action. Give Basecamp a try. But look where your attention goes on that website. There's only really one thing to look at when you first um, arrive on that page. And that's another example of just much, much better design. And last example, uh, once again, much better uh, is for a clear bit uh, company, um, strong graphic on the left hand side, and then we've got the text. The text is probably what you want to go to first, data to power your entire business. And again, just want an example of much, much better design. There's not loads of things shouting for attention. It's just a much, much improved um, example than we saw in the first two examples of the link cars and that other design that I showed you. So um, that is covered um, those examples and the TOTA, the one thing to take away as we covered in the last video, you can apply it to anything and I'm applying it to this video. The one thing to take away is use hierarchy to grab attention. Next week, um, or next episode, I am going to cover design techniques um, and show more examples just of good design and how it works. And that's coming up soon.
Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, share if you can. That would be appreciated.